Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're doing it again, guys. We're doing it again. NFL Madden 19 All Madden. And uh, like I said, guys, I'm working on a slider set. So I uh, just want to uh, experience this new gameplay. Hello again, everybody. And we can get it things going. You're tuning to Madden 19 right. on E. Here we go. E Here we go. Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be We're a playing at home this time. We're New playing at home, Giants baby. And the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to Again, I want to say thank you for Washington. clicking on this video once again. Thank you very Ready much. And, and if you're new to the channel, I am Hollywood Sports. Welcome. And coach, we find ourselves due east from our nation's capital. Uh, my favorite team, as you can see, is the Washington Redskins. I'm not just playing with them, guys. They are my favorite team. I got my uniform on. I'm ready to go. Here we go. They are set to go as their guys will match up. With the New York Giants. Hi again, everyone. All right, looks like they're going to kick off to us. To the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable. Boom. Not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Good run take, back, baby. Good run back. To the 28 yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. It'll be the 14 year veteran leading him onto the field. Alex Smith making his first start here as a Washington Redskin. And despite another terrific season from Alex Smith in Kansas City, he knew, Kansas City knew from the moment Patrick Mahomes was drafted, this day was going to come sooner rather than later. Now he goes to Washington. And replaces Kirk All Cousins. right, baby. Two First play of the game. Backs. First Kirk play of the game. More of the freewheeling sort. Alex Smith, more deliberate, more controlled, but can still throw that dagger pass downfield. On first down, it's Smith. And this is complete to Reed. And he'll get it up Jordan to the Reed, baby. yard line. Healthy, Five back healthy and ready to go. Brings up second down. And a quick look at Eat. Washington's offense. Jordan Reed is one of the best route running tight ends in the NFL, and it shouldn't be an accident because at one point Let's he was a do it, baby. Let's do it. So Second and five. He runs downfield, I think he's doing it with quarterback eyes. Come on, O-line. Do something for me, baby. Do something for me, baby. Here we go. From himself. Oh, made too much of a cut there. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Carter, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Out of the gun, Smith. Oh! Kind of rushed that throw. Kind of rushed it. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Here's Tressway now. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Come on, get in there, baby. Get in there with that bounce. We got the backspin on it. Oh, uh, that's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Because you know what? Trust me, guys. I can't I can't max the meter out. He'll just kick it right out. He'll just so kick it into the crowd. The Giants backed up to start their first drive. The man bringing them out and calling the shots under center will, of course, be Eli, Eli Man. Man. 15th season now, the former number one pick in 2004. When you look at the numbers that Eli Manning posted in 2017, there's plenty of cause for concern. Lowest yards per completion of his career. Few yards passes since 2008. All right, defense. Here his we go. Numbers continue to drop in terms of touchdowns and rising in terms of interceptions. But he's one of the fiercest competitors in the league, even if you can't tell it by his demeanor. 
And no, you don't hear about his workout program like Tom Brady and Drew Brees. Uh 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 no 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 uh -uh. good way to play. Way to bust that up, Jonathan Allen. Way to get in the backfield and Ryan Kerrigan cleans it up, baby. Well, add that play to his resume. Real hung on to that tackle, boy. Made the That's initial hit. You make plays like he didn't get a hold of him, but uh, Ryan Kerrigan is right there. Now they're trying to get the run game going. Saquon Barkley, where are you going, baby? In the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. No Scandrick on the tackle, baby. Against his rushing stats, but really oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. No beautiful play. play. Before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. On third and long, it's Manning. There we go. Good job. Zach Brown on the tackle, baby. Let's get the ball back. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Here we should have some good field position right here. We got him standing on the goal line. Let's go, Crowder. Come on, baby. Ah, ah. Call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And here come the Redskins now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back. -back that was going crazy. I like that. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this Woo. drive. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Here's Smith now on second down. Complete. Richardson has it. And he'll be I threw it a little bit too early, but that was a great catch by Richardson, man. Beautiful catch right there. I anticipated the throw just a little bit too early. He barely turned around and caught, and, and caught that. Let me show y'all that, man. Let's, let's, let's back it up. Let me show y'all this play, man. This is, we, watching your replays helps you, helps you grow as a passer. Let's watch this, man. Let's put, the, let's put it on Richardson. Now watch this. Yeah, there we go. Let's watch Richardson. Okay, look at the ball right there. Before he even turns around, look at that. I threw that way too early. How did he catch that? Zoom in on this, man. Zoom around here. Okay, we see the ball. Bad thrown pass. Did he hit it? Yep, hit his arm. Wow. Good awareness by Richardson to catch it. Ooh, that was a crazy pass. I anticipated that pass too early. And it was tight coverage, too. So we got a little luck on that play. He didn't intercept that ball. He knocked it. He played the ball instead of playing the interception. On the ground, it's Geis. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. Okay, we got Richardson outside, in the slot. The we got Reed. Was there. We'll see how it works. Down. Here we go. 
Dawson got a plus three over there. To throw on second down is Smith. No, oh, I couldn't get it over his head. It's intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. And his guys are going to take over. At Those are the passes you got to lob up deep. You got to lob them over the top. Uh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and ten. So after the INT, it's Manning. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every Let's go position. Defense. Come on, baby. The tight ends have created counter, so counter. Oh, way to get there. Way to get there. The Beautiful. Let's go. This is going to be the result every time. No gain on the play there. Second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is not a just big, a big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about Come the guys, second and ten. defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And I didn't know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> and before they can get settled in here, time expires on the first quarter of action. Nothing, nothing, our score. We'll head back to FedEx Field after this time. Again, I thank you guys for clicking on the video. I hope you're enjoying the, the game. on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They've got it second and ten to start things out. Come on, guys. We got a good defense. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful defense, baby. Where to stand? Where to stand? The gain of a yard gets them back where they started. Now it's Turn down McPhee on the tackle, baby. Let's go. Gardner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes on. You know, playing all Madden this year seems like it's bounced. And that way you often control the game. Oh, come on, Foster. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. So Manning to back him in this defense, they better hone in on that connection. It's almost like an electrical charge for him, isn't it? When he catches the first one, I'm talking about OBJ. He just goes in the huddle and says, That's going to be a highly more, used more. play that uh, the really, Giants just he, use. He's just one of those guys that once he gets A lot going, of people are going to use that out. play in the game. First down carry for Barkley. Good D, baby. Good D. This time as he's taken down right around he ain't the running the ball on us, that's for sure. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players. DJ Swerve. Guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety Ooh. in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose right, guys, in the let's mess. Man him up. Making let's man nice him up. Let's get some pressure. Manning to throw on second. They always give him that ball fast. That's Lewis. <laughs> Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves. I love the way the defensive line catches. gets on the ground and get ready. Great animations. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. And he'll wind up losing. No, 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 Jonathan Allen, baby. They tried to run right into the teeth of the defense on third down, but um, looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> we're going to protect against the fake, guys. We're going to protect against the fake. I got a funny yeah, feeling about this all, man. Whenever they fourth and short, that's a chance they, they want to fake it. And Rosas puts this one through. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, 
being able to kick field goals means you're right there, and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. And he won't return this one. He'll go down. I'm not even really picking my plays, guys. I'm just taking the three. That's all. For now here's the signal call. That's, what, that's how you learn your playbook, guys. You just, you just grab a play and learn how to run. An interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know the quarterbacks. All right, what we got here? That are the best ones. We got three minutes left in the second quarter. Let's go to these verticals. That's on me. That's my bad. we can get somebody down downfield and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done one good thing for him it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover big thanks to the defense who's that plus five try to shake off the interception he'll look to throw and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Dissipated just a little bit too late on that throw. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Eddie. On second and ten, Smith. Yes. Go over the middle to Reed, complete. And all the way down to the 26. Oh yeah, baby. They were bringing the house. They was bringing the house. I thought it might be a fake, but I saw him, man. They were, they just looked too intense right there. That's why I had the audible. Methodically marching the ball downfield. You can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that. Well, yeah, we had a little breakaway defense. right there, man. That's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense <laughs> off balance, that'll drive a team. Uh, let's run to the left side. We have to run to Trent Williams' side. Yeah. So the drive mm -hmm. takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 26 yard line. This is Geis on a handoff left. He spins. Good move, guys. Let it run, baby. Way forward here for a modest gain. Five, five yards. yards. We'll take it. We'll take first it. First down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards. Bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to give the, Need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Well, audible. There's nobody to stop those linebackers. Let's see. Let's try it anyway. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Well, we might we might have Richardson open right here. Let's see. Richardson or Reed. Richardson or Reed. Throwing on third down. Smith. And see? Is Got a lot of those. It really wasn't a good pass at all. I tried to anticipate, but it was the wrong, uh, of the just a bad throw. Yeah, I know, they're bigger and stronger than Shouldn't I have thrown was, that. but in this situation, they understood what was going on as much as the offensive guys, because the offense guys are always taught, find the first down sticks and make the play. Well, on defense, what do you want to do? Guard the first down line. Make sure they don't get there and tackle them in front. They were able to drop in their zone coverage, figure out where the first down line was, and end up making the play, swatting it away so they couldn't get the completion. 
So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop. I mean, we need a big play defense. Line. We need a big play, baby. Here's the giant offense now as they get they ready got a minute to take and 20 seconds. Here. We need a big play. And last time <clears throat> able to get three. It's not what they want. Like a turnover six, right now. At least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. All right, we're going to blitz. Like we're going to blitz. You described it. Not ideal. We'll test this blitz out here. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see. We got to make him get rid of the ball cuz he's going to get rid of the ball quick and all man. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Manic. Oh, they picked it up. Oh, we got it. Nobody was open. We're good deep. Good man to man coverage, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, D. Come on, D. Let's get the ball back. Let's get the ball back. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. The Giants on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Preston Smith, baby, Preston Smith. People forgetting all about Preston Smith on that outside linebacker spot, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Big play by Jordan Reed Report. right there. Not too much to show you scoring-wise in that first half. Just a couple of field goals make up all the scoring. But the teams are ready to go at half number two. So to bring it your way, let's get right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball down to Man, Barkley got some quick agility, man. Deron Payne was getting ready to square him up, and Barkley just broke out to the right real quick. Deron Payne, man, our rookie from Alabama, was ready to square him up. He just broke off to the right so quick. And that guy's quick, but we had him covered. We had him covered, baby. Behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Now Manning throwing on second down. Over the middle to back him. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. 
And that's why he's been a first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Come on, defense. Come on, y'all. 26 yards. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe get lead him, your get zone. him. So you have to have discipline. Oh yes! Oh, catch that! Oh, catch that! Catch that! Catch that! Catch that. We had good pressure, made him get rid of the ball, oh, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, had it usually results in a big play. Had it. Had it. Had it. All right, we're bringing the blitz on this one, guys. We're bringing the blitz. Man up, man up, man up. Man up, man up. Manning again here on second and ten. Left side, it's Beckham. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Well, you got, you, I see you in the box. You got to get him. You got to get him. Ooh, good hit. Good hit. Right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. On second down, here's Manning. His throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it We're going to play tight man-to-man. Like man. We're going to put a rush on him. Yeah, we man up. Here we go. Kansas got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. He'll get it up the middle. A pickup of four on first down. Come on, boss. Wake up, baby. Goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally. Come on, linebackers. Play up tight. Play up the middle, baby. Tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Toward out of bounds. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Red Allison, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. I'm going to need some help with this one. Goal line stance, baby. Did Goal line stance. Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake Hold his head. Here we go. Believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Manning now on third and goal. And <laughs> they will not let them. They will not take a sack, boy. They get rid of that ball quick. They will not take a sack. Now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. And the kick by Rosas is good. All right, we need a good drive. We need a successful drive on this play. Field goals. It's six to three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. We need a successful Let's drive coming up. Some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that? Come on. One? What does that mean? Break out that just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. 
So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They trail offense first time. You know, Alex, Alex can make three, all the throws. We'll he can make can all do. the throws. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after him early and try and create a big play. Yes! Way to hang on, Richardson. Good job, baby. Good job. But not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. Well, they've been struggling in Great the throw by Alex, man. Like Great throw. There. I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time, you know, we saw the blitz coming. Your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing. I didn't want to max protect because I wanted my guys running out there. You, push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but we not cannot run the football, man. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And safety's coming down the middle. Look at him. On second down, here's Smith. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That catch good for five. It's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three mm. quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They have five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Okay, we're going on this play. We're going to look for Thompson, Reed, and Crowder coming back across in that order. Here we go. Crowder is Y. A shotgun snap for Smith. Oh! Reed and it's intercepted. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins. See, so that's the thing. When you try to anticipate to get the ball there right on the break, if you make the wrong decision based on looking at the defense or the movement of the, the uh, safety back there, I should have made my third read and try to get him coming. Uh, what did I say? Crowder coming back across or was it Dotson? I didn't do that. Watch the ball in the tight coverage. To take the field. And last time they got I had to, I should have went through my third read on that. Field goal. And when you go to if it wasn't there, you know, field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. deal with it. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start out on the ground. It's get him. Get him. Oh, good hit. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's the big play we needed right there. That's the big play we needed right there. Who made that hit? Well, that takeaway partner right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolutely. Ooh, DJ Swerger with the big hit, baby. Ooh, yes. Ryan Kerrigan with the alertness. Get on. Look at DJ. Look at DJ. Ooh, yeah. We give our team we give our teammates a chance to win. Beautiful. See, that's what I'm saying, guys. Those are the big plays you need. You need turnovers, man. We got to pick up our turnover ratio this year. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception, but they did put run the football. A nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Let's go to the app formation, man. Let's run the football. Because once it through the interception, Let's stretch it to the we're good at the running to the right side on the stretch. No at least it was in Madden 18. Finish things off. That's all oh, I picked the wrong done. play because I'm on Xbox, guys. Guys, tried to cut it back up. Carry win the one to bring him down. 
And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense is last year I used the Chicago Bears playbook, the guys. We just saw another example. And of that's it the there. problem. This time I stick with Washington's playbook. Again, they run. Again. Oh yes! Woo! Good try, guys. Man, I thought he almost broke that one open. Frustrating for a that was that one cut, baby. For an offense, finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Redskins on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. Smith, a bullet throw, but incomplete. What? A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt we got to look at that again, guys. I want to see how that defensive guy to... played that. We got to look at that again. We got to look at this again. He's all over, and that should be pass interference. That's pass interference. He's all over his back, trying to reach for the ball. So that means, guys, as I do these sliders, I'm going to turn up the pass interference at one click and see if that makes a difference. That's pass interference all day, all day long. Woo! bit more scoring. This feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And Hopkins' kick is good. At least we tied up. That should have been pass interference, man. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all legal. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway and trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one. And it'll man, that turnover helped us, man. That turnover Here's helped us big time. the defense, they get set for this next possession. And they forced that fumble the last time. And when it happens on a previous drive, you kind of get thirsty for it to happen again. You know, I think all Madden is going to be really close games this year. Turnover or the takeaway. He's at least until the he's XP builds up. Be the one we look at in film okay, go, they're going three wide. Should we blitz him? Everybody wants that praise from the coach. That means the next Let's try a cover two man. Let's try to man him up. Here we go. Do they still hand out gold stars. You know, Come on, guys, man up, man up. It's the simple things in life that motivate these guys. <laughs> a sticker. <laughs> That's a little, little, little helmet sticker yeah. in college. Come on. Put a little gold sticker Come on, Boston. Things like that. They love that stuff. Makes them feel good. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Many different ways to create space. But on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Manning now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. And oh, there we go. Woo, I thought he had some space line. right there. Three Good job, Zach. Up there and it'll be second down. Not much happening there. Let's get the ball down. back, baby. There might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. To throw on second down, Manning. Oh, you're right there! Oh no! You know, I, one thing I have noticed about all Madden from between 18 and 19, um, all Madden and 18, all the quarterbacks were running. At least in Madden 19, if they're not running quarterbacks, they're not running the ball. You know, they're not take, they're not scrambling and taking off running. You know, somebody like a Russell Wilson, he'll probably do a lot more running. So that, I like that in Madden 19. 
because uh, uh, Eli Manning has not took off with the football yet, so I didn't have to. I don't have to spy him all the time. And we will have to spy an online online rank play though. Manning now on first down. He's got Lewis. And he showcases the spin, a pretty good gain before he's taken Come on, guys, we got to get the ball back. Get Come on. there on the first down completion. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really Watch does. Barkley. Watch Barkley. The quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits, and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Oh, they, oh, they really gonna run the ball now. Let's go, guys. We need a strip or something. They go play action here on first oh, no, no, no. Down. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yes! Beautiful! Beautiful! Down. Yeah, the field goal range now. To throw is Manning. Come on, guys! Somebody break loose! Oh, wide open! Open man, right side is He stayed in bounds to keep the clock going too. But good, we get an injury timeout. We got lucky. Woo. You see how he stayed stayed in bounds so the clock wouldn't stop? <laughs> but we got the injury timeout. Whoever got hurt there. Manning going to come up on first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Barkley's not in the game, so that play action. Yep. Oh, come on. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Rhett Ellison, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And Come on, Smith. I thought you were right there on the play, baby. Just stick your hand up. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now, on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give him the advantage. It's Deron Payne, our rookie. <laughs> Rosas now to kick this stand in the game. We might not need him now. We need the offense to get it going. Here's Harris to return it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. All right, we gotta open it up. We gotta open it up. Let's see. Let's see what they coaching suggests. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time—it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. Press the wrong button again. This is what they work on every week. Plan is X box. Usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. He could Oh, come on! on. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Work with me, partner. Ball, they pop out. out. He knocked it out. Going down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Richardson. And he's Can't call time out yet. Let's go. Thirty-five yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. 
Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Richardson. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Smith now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Yeah, if I can get that safety to bite inside on Dotson, we're going to try to get Crowder. They'll look to throw. Oh, good catch. Good catch. I kind of threw it behind him. Good catch. Good catch, Dotson. This one goes for 19 yards. Hey, you got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. Smith now 8 of 15 through the air, but it's first and 10 here. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw. Deep. Yes! It's a yes! touchdown. Yes! So they rally here in the final minute. Yes! Jameson Crowder, baby. Let's go. And now a critical we ain't going for two, guys. We are not going for two. Are you crazy? point it's up and good and partner we've got a tie game here in the fourth five plays there on that drive and the result a touchdown for washington Set to beautiful pass by alex off. smith he can make the throws man as we continue in this wild fourth quarter this will be taken to the back of the end zone and with time a factor here late he'll just take a knee i know y'all thought it was over y'all thought it was over baby it ain't over till it's over new york set to take the field they have a little bit of time here to get into field goal He's 14 range. for Not 17 192 yards and a crazy, touchdown right? i agree with you on that one risk reward okay if you go for it what is the absolute reward on this but the risk is probably greater Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. They start on the ground. It's a Stewart on first. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. Stewart and Barkley sharing time. With 17 seconds to go in the game. Manning the throw. It's caught. Becker. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. I'm doing the video. What's up? Back to throw. Manning. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Woo! And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. You know, I can say Madden is kind of balanced right now. I haven't seen anything crazy. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. That coin toss but should be in the beginning of the game a anyway. Pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score. The game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Come on, Harris. Here's Harris to return it. Ooh. It's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. 
And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as it's we said, they control their own destiny now. Not laying back defensively. They blitzed right there first play in OT. The game's changed a bit, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, when we were kids, most of the time you'd lay back, not necessarily prevent defense, but you'd want everything in front of you and hope that the offense made a mistake. Now people aren't counting on that. They're going after them and being aggressive. Of course, if they pick up your blitz, it could be a big play for the offense. Second and ten, Smith again. No chance oh, to get just give it a throw. Smith as he goes down. B.J. Goodson coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you yeah, have they to gotta look out for? Yeah, they got to fix that right there, man. They got to fix that. Because it seems to be working pretty well. Third and long, it's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. I wanted to go to the left side with Dotson, man, but the rush well, the was coming in there. Did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a Now we can let Trust Wade boom they did it well. And this will be taken at the 13. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much Ooh, else. Get the ball back. Come on, we need a big turnover. We need a big play. Come on, turned it back over to him, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. Excellent job by the defense. That's what I'm talking about. Offense finished things That's what I'm talking off. about. One is done. Now part two. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Manning the throw on second down. They'll complete this to Ingram. That was not a good defense to pick right there. On five wide. At the 31-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Giants on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. Manning now to throw, and Ingram holds it in. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor, and it's a first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're in OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Oh my gosh, you gotta play a little bit tighter, you gotta play tighter. 46 yard line. 10 yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big man, shot. Man, if we can lock up man to man and get some like pressure. Come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. 
A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, a little dinking and dunking that they're doing. It, at some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. Take what they give you, but make them tackle. In other words, get it to one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. Now Manning throwing on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open. And the hit jarred it loose. Wow. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Giants on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This time they face a third and two. On play action, now Manning. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, so close, but incomplete. Ah. Could have been a big turnover in overtime if he'd held on. Instead, though, it's fourth down. That's one of those pivotal plays that'll just stick out in everybody's mind from this game. If he picks that off, what a momentum swing down here in the end zone. And Come he on, did Mickelson. his job. He knocked the ball away. But it does feel like a letdown for him and his teammates, doesn't it? A chance to intercept it turn it back over to his offense with a chance to win the game. We get an end zone. Dixon, the putter is on as he sends it away. Alex Smith and the offense heading out for their next possession. Ooh. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game the start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled, and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. We got to try to hit this streak, man. Arcapato and middle linebackers will read. On first down, Smith. They'll go over the middle to read complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. They really played that man coverage blitz. Opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker. He's got a way to beat all of those positions. And we move over the middle. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40 yard line. A really nice game. Maybe I should have burned some more yards. clock before I took that timeout. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10, right at the 40. I said, why, Nene? Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Jackson with a grab over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. They got two timeouts, so they still can ice us. They'll run it now out of the gun. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. And that carry probably not so much for yardage just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage you gain there is really kind of gravy. And this just becomes what my old coach used to say. Get into position to be in position. <laughs> and that's what they want, the right spot for their kicker to line up the field goal. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. This to win it in overtime. 
Now a second timeout called for by the defense. The They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside. I didn't want to rush it before the ice match. I had to take. I just wanted to take my time, man. Whew. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. This to win it in overtime. Guys, we're 2 0 and all bad, baby. We're 2 0. 2 0. And it took the field goal to win it. And we always pay lip service to how important it is to play defense. Beautiful, guys. I love Madden 19, guys. We just got to tighten it up just a little bit. You know, adjust a little bit of animations. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have a good football game, guys. I just hope this patch don't screw it up. Everything that's going to be in this patch, I hope it's what it takes. They know what it takes to fix this game. Your holder. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. For Charles Davis Join the team of Hollywood crew, Sports, baby. And Gun. let's do You've it together. And as NFL, always, hopefully, I will Sports. see everybody on the next video. Thanks for watching. Can I count it off? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four.